They got the new Minecraft DLC. It sure is something. They're over here just playing Overwatch 2. <laughs> uh, just a casual Warhammer game in the middle of the Smash set. <laughs> Anyways, Pyromythra being a very good character, a whole lot of fast options, foresight, cheating, a good bit. Yeah, um, a little bit. Very good bit. <laughs> Just only, like, is basically witch time, but, like, on a defensive option. Um, like, obviously, witch time is a counter, but this is, like, this a is counter built into dodge. an air dodge. So, yeah. like... It's like, oh, do you got the air dodge time you small bit off here? I got you. Don't worry. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> yeah, it just cheats a little bit. Get like two and a half roll distances away real quick. It's ridiculous. And with Aegis' burst speed, there's never like a good way to... Approach like, or zone them out. Yeah. Especially online. That delay would make that impossible. Like, think about Sonic, but with a sword. <laughs> yeah, and on the other end of the spectrum, we have... I've, I've realized we do not have a team name for them. But anyways, on the other end of the spectrum, we have Pyra, who just sort of kills you. Yeah, Pyra's, basi <laughs> Pyra's basically Sword Ganon. Um, also has, like, some of the most consistent confirms in the game. You've got, like, down air up smash, down air up air, down tilt up air. There's just, like, quite a few... And like the windows for those are huge. They're like 40 to 60% windows. So like you can afford to attack on some extra damage and still go for that same confirm. Honestly, down air confirms like 40 to 120 because you got up air as well, worst case. Yeah. If they get sent a tad too high for the up for the up smash, don't worry, you can just jump up there and follow them anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't no mountain high enough. To escape, Pyra up there. <laughs> Apparently not. It's like when you think you're safe on the Kalos platforms. No longer, it's just Mithras in your face suddenly. <laughs> That's the thing. It's just like 15 frames swap back and forth, probably more. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it. No, it does not. The switches in this game are so good. Like, imagine if Pyra Mithra had like Brawl Pokemon Trainer Switch. Honestly, I don't even think they'd be that much worse of a character. <laughs> Well, they would have to definitely commit a little bit more to that option. You'd have to get them at least, like, off stage or something. Well, if you're swapping back from Mithra, what's the frames you can't act out of once you have a hitbox is the real question. Because if it's, like, a few, you can just air dodge after. You can just roll. You have foresight. Yeah. foresight. It's just swapping. Up. Higher, that's the just spot dodge immediately after. <laughs> oh, you missed the window? Sorry. Now I get a free up you're, smash. You're, like, two two frames too late there, but mm -hmm. too bad. <laughs> uh, tragedy. It's like when Sheik and Zelda were on the same character. Wow, who thought Mithra was a good idea, actually? I mean, like Sakurai, <laughs> apparently. I guess Sakurai thought it was a good idea. There's a lot of things he thought were a good idea. Yeah. More you like know, you, Steve. And like, Smash Ultimate generally is a very balanced game, and I, the way that they kind of tried to balance Pyramithra is just like not great recovery, but that there's no way to make up for the obvious strengths so that is like decently sized sword with like ridiculous frame data, safety on most moves, um, and a defensive option on a defensive option that also combos into kill moves. <laughs> and honestly, not great recovery is a whole lot different from bad recovery. Yeah, like Pyra Myth, like they can at least switch between the two, stall their momentum a bit. Pyra can recover from a bit lower. Mithra has two recovery uh, places to go from. So it's like basically like slightly worse Fox recovery, I would say, because Fox's recovery kills. Meanwhile, but then again, Mithra's like is a um, combo move. Yeah. The first hit of it puts you into hit stun for ages, so you can literally just go and up beat a ledge someone. That's the same with both Pyra and Mithra, honestly. Reverse and Weepit. And we have C Team Smash just starting there against the Weepit. Wait, it? The Weepits are out in full force today. They are indeed. <laughs> it's it's great to see it. Because <laughs> all I'm saying, the Weepit ditto between Jake and that Weepit would have been legendary Dude. to watch. Dude, yes. We must we must inquire one day, just get them all together. <laughs> 
I don't know if they just think it's like Halloween early or something. Like, no one plays Wii Fit seriously, right? Apparently. I, 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 actually, I'm not allowed to say anything. <laughs> no. I'm a Kirby player. All right, starting strong with um, shield up smash. Two dash decks coming out right at the beginning. Three. Oh man, oh. And there's that foresight. There's the foresight. Came out right as soon as, as you can see, you just roll right through uh, we fit for smash. So you roll farther than a roll. Yeah. With less end lag. Mm -hmm. And able to get your own punish off of it afterwards. It's, it's great. But now we're going to get off the hate train fire myth because it's on our side. So. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we fit trainer, uh, deep breathing, literally like toggleable our set. Um, <laughs> you get like heavier, your attacks are way stronger. Um, you get faster, your, uh, your like air speed is better, but also you fall faster, so combos are better. Like, honestly, it's probably better than our set. <laughs> um, yeah, it also. But it's, it's not a worse character. character. It is a worse character. But honestly, Wii Fit doesn't do many things bad. It's just that she doesn't do a lot of things as good as other characters. Yeah, I think the main problem is that Wii Fit just has really, like, awkward hitboxes. And there are not a lot of, like, people who play Wii Fit aside from a few character specialists. Like, I can't think of too many Wii Fits, like, even in the professional level on the top of my head other than, like, John Numbers. <laughs> Um, I, I believe I've seen one where see the deep breathing mist come out. Yeah. Now we've got a ledge guard up to you. Never mind. Oh, that's an SD. Great ledge guard coming out from our power with our side. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Dude, the scale. <laughs> Just a bit. We have Seth now joining us on the commentary as well. Seth and Gabe made team. Serving. Hey, the Wii Fit serving fire with her. I, I love that. Uh, that forward throw. Like, he, she's literally just, like, volleying the other character. <laughs> one, of, one of the few skill throws on Polar Oh, forever. The up smash beating up pirate down air. Free pose. You gotta, you gotta make sure you get those stretches in, you know? Yes, sir. The Wii Fit always promoting good health. It's the only character to trash talk by giving their opponent health advice <laughs> mid-match. <laughs> gotta work on those glutes, you know? Kill them with kindness. <laughs> I feel like it's passive aggressive, not kindness. Yeah. I mean, like, she's been trained for this. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, if you're taking time to call out your opponent's lack of fitness in match, I feel like that's more passive aggressive. Listen, man. Gotta so. make the money somehow. <laughs> gotta, gotta promote, you know? Yeah. I'm in a pretty bad spot. Most hits will kill 106. We're gonna see the third side beat catching him off guard. And now they're gonna be trying to get side backstage. Beat. Kinda of hard to get around online, not gonna lie. That is kind of hard to get around in general. That four yes. smash hitting way up there. A great call out by Julian to take that final stock there. If we bring up the hitbox, it looks almost like Ganondorf F smash. Yeah. But just longer somehow. It kinda of reminds me of like Roy and Krom's F smash because that also hits like way higher than it should. And at least it doesn't hit behind them. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Okay. Thank you, Stop for stopping by Seth. Yes. Joe with a commanding game one leading SVSU eight to two, eight to six, not eight to two or a bit. That's a bit that's a, that comes later. Yeah. We'll get there. Yeah, we will. So we only lost one stock that game, right? We have indeed only lost one stock. Any predictions? Do you think Julian can take the the nine oh? I <laughs> honestly the... you have to see how the second game goes, but if it looks like it's going well, if it's just another game just like that one, I think he's got it. Yes, sir. He needs the team in Smashdown. <laughs> in, in, in crew battles, I meant. You gotta love it. I do. Let's see what the other team brings out. We heard after our slate scouting that they play a Kirby. Honestly, they play matchups that we are all very well versed in. They have a Kirby. Well, some of them deep pockets, but a Kirby. They have a K rule. They have, I believe, a Terry. Not entirely sure. Hmm. Yeah. Very common characters around here. We get a decent amount of experience versus all of those matchups. Normally Kirby and Kayla are not common. Terry might be a bit common, but uh, SVSU is a bit off. SVSU has its own meta. We do indeed. It's, it's apparently <laughs> Crocodile and... It's apparently Crocodile, Puffball, and Random, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> and then just Up Smash. I do love playing Up Smash the character. <laughs> 
It is my favorite game. It's just up oh, on the stick. Look, oh, the Mario, that's the one chose. I forgot. That's the, that's the last matchup we deal with. Love. <laughs> we love... He, th these people are doing the Mario. They are doing the Mario. Spin your arms from side to side a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't actually sing it because I'm pretty sure it's copyrighted. Hell. We're gonna see the self. The the there's the taunt coming out. Cappy taking a stop in. He does indeed appear on I believe Mario up taunt as well when he does a little. A little uh like, like a little bit of stuff about this matchup. This is awful for Mario. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea. And but I also do not know else. Sometimes you only play that character and you just gotta hope. Yeah. It's like when you're staring down. It's it's like when you're staring at a fire and you're <laughs> chosen Mario. Yeah. You just kind of gotta deal with it. Um, so except it not be hitting behind apparently. I mean, seeing the swap back to Pyro. It's Mario's playing fairly patient. Yeah, oh, going for that. some silliness though. There's some dash attacking that shield. Looking to try and catch from dropping shield that's out of fear. Trying to put the fear of the ages into him. So the reason why this is a bad matchup is because Mario, uh, most of his moves are pretty stubby. Um, he has very few ways. Like he he can get in versus Pyramithra, but he can't really maintain advantage very well because of like foresight and just very good and safe options. Um, and a slightly unfortunate pestle coming out of that will be over. Yeah. Yeah, Mario is going to also be stuck in the trap situation. Julian just looking for a stop here. Mario managed to make it off the ledge. The air dodge was questionable, but he, it worked for him. He, he's, I was about to say he's still alive, but apparently I <laughs> spoke too soon. <laughs> Way too soon. There it is. He's going to swap back to Pyro. Julian looking for something he almost started. I think that's Mithra. They just changed the skin, yeah, so great. it's weird. <laughs> oh, no, I was saying it wrong. It's, it got me. <laughs> did the thing. Yeah. Waiting for the down throw in the lightning buster. I like their idea. Um, it does work. Yeah. This Mario really likes to go high. I think. I mean, he is jump man for a reason. Uh, maybe maybe jump, jump man, jump less. Yeah. Just perhaps. <laughs> just perhaps. It might get called out one of these times. You see that smash almost taking out the entire platform, just casually. He do be trying to call out them jumps a little bit. Got Mario stuck at ledge, what will he do? He's just gonna run forward. Uh, uh, that air dodge once again, air dodger up, you know? Yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's the play, maybe it's the Mario, is it the Mario meta game? Do you think air dodge up is Mario meta? Dude, I love up dodge, it's my favorite move. <laughs> Especially on stage, directly <laughs> above a platform. Yes sir. See, like, I think people haven't realized the true meta of this game quite yet. It's, ju it's just up dodge. It is up dodge central. It's up dodge and affairs. Yeah. <laughs> one, day they'll, one day they'll get there. I don't care if you have, like, Mega Man up here, it's just up dodge and affairs. That's, that's now the meta. <laughs> we will evolve to that point. We'll see the back air coming out and taking it off the top. Great back air. Now we've even it up the stocks. Um, but we see the comeback. I think, uh, as long as uh, Julian maintains advantage here, then uh, you'll be sitting pretty. Yes, he will. a quick, quick sort of rundown on the states of Smash. We have neutral advantage and disadvantage. Neutral sorts like this, where they're both running around each other, trying to get a hit, seeing who gets hit first. Maybe the straight hit, maybe it turns into a combo. Then it turns into a combo, or you've got the other person at ledge, you go into advantage, where you have well, the advantage, basically. You can hit, get some easier hits on them, you've got less things to worry about. However, the other side of that coin is disadvantage, where you are the one being combo for where you have a good chance of dying, a good chance of being launched off stage, or taking a whole lot of percentage. And, like, disadvantage and advantage doesn't always just apply to, like, combos. It can just apply to, like, stage positioning. Wait, if right. the person uh, is in, like, center stage, and if the uh, opponent who is in disadvantage would either be, like, on the sides or above, um, safe positioning is super important in this game, so like, um, if you are not staying in the center, or at least maintaining a decent amount of, uh, space with, like, on the stage, then I would say that you're in disadvantage at that point, because then you're trying to get back. That you are, at also late point, we had nine smash attacks in a row. Yeah, there does seem to be a little bit of mashing going on here. We're on Wolf, there's 12. We'll, we'll see how many we got before the end of the game. We're 12. I will fully agree with this Mario's decisions. Forward smash is It's not silly. a bad idea. However, that side dodge is hey. going to kill him off the, off the, off the stage. 
This Mario knew, knew something that we didn't, but it just didn't pan out this time. No, <laughs> next time, maybe. Jump Man will come back in full force. We see the apparently Pyra, because they made that skin for some reason. Yeah, um, I don't know if that's like a meta thing, or if they actually just like to see like Pyra and Mithra have like split color palettes. Like, that's just Honestly. weird. I don't know. It just looks super off to me. I feel like there are only some skins that are like just better than the other than the alts. Yeah. This is one of them, and then the icy skin that makes them both the same. Yeah, where one look like where Popo becomes Nana and Nana becomes Popo, or at least I don't even know if they like change or if you just become the other ice climber. You are technically playing as Nana because in all of in five through eight you're playing as Nana, in one through four you're playing as Popo. Oh really? Yes, because you can tell from the hair, and that is the only difference between the two of them. I honestly didn't even know that. That's However, cool. this is the one skin where they have the same exact coat color. And I wish I was joking. I think it might be like a shade lighter blue. Why do they do this? They just like making it suffer sometimes. And we see we do indeed see the Terry coming out. So this matchup also probably good for Pyramithra for the same reason. Um Pyramithra can kind of just space out, maintain advantage. Uh Terry, while not as stubby as Mario, and has like a few decent like burst range options. Um I would have to say that his neutral is kind of awkward, especially online where reaction gameplay isn't as potent. I'd also like to point out, I feel like we can just put the blanket statement up. This matchup probably isn't bad for Pyramithra. Yeah, um, Pyramithra probably do great. However, we do see the down tilt, down tilt into input power dive. Power dive, whatever. We do love to see the bread and butter confirms. But it was not jab, jab. Yeah, where where is the jab jab? Jab jab power dive. dive. What are you doing, Terry? I mean, he's in, he's doing something. Yeah, with that. we're he's... sitting at 109 to 18. Oh my goodness, he just kind of swept through that Mithra. All right, so you're really really taking six, six stocks. Okay. Very clip, very clean gameplay. Let's see if C team can uh can finish it up. Yep. He's going to be very proud of that performance. <laughs> Great experience, and so glad to see Julian just, uh... Oh, I'm heading out. Oh, okay. Just like, uh, see you, mate. Yeah, see you guys. So glad to see Julian just, uh, getting better at this game and learning how to play Pyramithra at this he's, level. He's definitely one of our fastest improving players on C-Team. For sure. Now, who do you think is go they're going to pull out against the Terry? I have some slight inside knowledge, depending on how my memory serves. I believe we are sending in Anthony. Julian, walking over to the commentator's booth. How are you feeling? No? So much better than that. But you still played well. Six stocks is nothing to scoff at, man. A very good performance. <laughs> we got a... We do, got. Do we, have a, do we have a delete in the chat, perhaps? I think you right click it. Yeah. Uh, please no self promos. <laughs> do I have to ride back across campus to help you delete the message? Oh gosh. Uh, I think it's the sword. Nope. Settings, perhaps. Have some technical difficulties on our side. <laughs> Just like mute the headphones for a second. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, it's the little, little skip button. <laughs> little skip button right there. Under the follow. You were, you were there. I think you've now all tabbed out of the. Yep. There you go. There you go. There we go. We got it. We got through it eventually. <laughs> Please, no self promotion. That's the wrong you're there. You are. Y O U apostrophe R E. It is. What do you mean my setup sucks? What do you mean? 
Did it appear on the other screen? Oh, I'm feeling it. <laughs> it's it's on Smash currently. We do indeed have Sinner going in. E. SVSU. All right. Well, now, once again, you know, there's pulling out all the DLC. There's, they're just not really scumming them, but we see the <laughs> we see the block coming out to try and buy some time for the approach options. I haven't seen uh, Counter Steve too much. Uh, what do you think about this? I feel like he's got some solid fundamentals down on the long delay. Good stuff. As soon as he gets a hit and puts this carry at the ledge, he's gonna be in a, in a tough spot. He minecarted at ledge, I can already see that it says a dub. <laughs> there it is, the TNT coming out, catching the roll. No oh, trick putting the TNT roll distance. <laughs> Normally done to apply oh pressure, but however he checked it forward tilted into his own. The Terry just sort of not really knowing how to get past some of the blocks in neutral. But no, see gold. That's an interesting option. Yes. I hope that doesn't cost him. Gold is very useful in buying carts. Um, but, you know, who's throwing? I know that you can get some very specific combos because gold has end, less end lag than every other tool. Golds are just faster. Gold being a very fast option, but however, the tools do not last for very long and also are actually pretty strong, surprisingly enough. Pretty strong hits. We're going to see the first stock coming out on the side of Eagles. As the ghost off with Terry, he gets an input from Buster Wolf. And Power Geyser. Oh my goodness, he is mashing that. Super special. But honestly, he's sure. Unless the first one was misinput, he's shown that he has the ability to do them, but it's not going to matter much unless he's at 100. Yeah. Also, another mechanic we have not talked about with the show is auto turnaround. Oh, yes. A actually like silly thing a lot of people jokingly call it aim bot um no matter what side uh the opponent is on the fighting game characters will automatically turn to that side it makes cross-ups impossible um because they just immediately turn around sometimes even when they're already throwing out an attack they will still turn around and shield bug banner coming out from there it makes cross -ups very hard because occasionally it gets messed up as to which side you're on yeah but it's a very occasionally well, I would, I would put the caveat that uh, Kazuya's auto turnaround in general isn't as, it, it's, it's Tekken uh, turnaround. Like it's slightly different. It's coded different than the other ones for some they reason. They really went and coded it differently based on the fighting game. Is Terry coded the same as Street Fighter? I think so. There was no notable difference between them. They really just did Kazuya like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, Kazuya has a tendency to. Uh, Choose the wrong side. Decent, like a decent amount more than other fighting game characters. But anyway, we're talking about Terry right now. <laughs> like I said, Steve still looking like he's not playing Smash. He's just gonna be mining at that ledge. We do like to use the run back minecart. My favorite option. You gotta do. You gotta do. He gets the diamond, but he's actually gonna get the time to take. It. Terry's waiting for him to go and mine. However, grab the diamond. Grab the diamond. Oh, you got it. More than enough because it's only a strong hitbox. It's also command grab a few frames afterwards. Dash attack, killing there. And there's only one spot left on both sides, and the turn around up smash because I don't even think he knew which side of him he was on. Yeah, to finish the stock. It's gonna be three to one in the favor of SVSU. Yeah, taking those two stocks there, we're still. Plenty of ways ahead. Um, this is looking like a game for SVSU, just so long as they don't throw. That is. Now that you put it in the air, it's just going to be hovering there. <laughs> no, where's, where's the fly swatter? I'm sorry. Comet. Yeah. It's gone. It's, we, we, we've caught it. It's stuck in the commentators booth with us. Yeah. It's like a little left cap that the evil villain has. <laughs> we put it in a little jar. It's like a firefly. <laughs> it doesn't need air holes. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> bueno jars. Yeah. It's dead. I don't understand that. We're gonna. We're going to ignore the conversation we have with the stream moderator. <laughs> with with something hovering slightly concerning it to be explained later. We are going to see SVSU setting in, and most likely either Peyton or Casey is their last one as their anchor. Captain Falcon or Sora. Both of them insanely good at the game. Uh, 
So I'm going to be able to run through this last dairy stock. I definitely think this is... You know what they should do? They should send in the Kazuya. Dude, I would love that. Please, let's see the Kazuya. Show them the better Shoto. Because <laughs> you know they didn't ban FD. Right. Man, that's what I should have done in my games. I should have just gone <laughs> FD Kazuya. I would have... Dude, I... They yes. wouldn't have been ready for it. They would not have they been. They wouldn't have what happened. <laughs> they would have gone like electric to 50 and then suddenly it's over. I have no Kazuya stuff. Yeah, you can just do electric, Nair, uh, Crouch, um, I guess, I think it's called Demon God Fist, into uh, the trip move, uh, downward angle, Which forward tilt, move? the backwards, uh, back tilt, or like backward, downward. A back whole lot of tilt. inputs. Yeah. Kazuya. It's crazy that they decided to put Tekken in, in Smash Bros. <laughs> they gave him so many moves. It's yeah, actually nuts. The plant coming in on the side of SVSU. Oh. Very. The armor with the down B? Probably going to be a very big Bam! factor in the Smash Up. Is actually playing this. Anthony Anthony's our resident plant. Oh. Resident plant boy. Resident plant boy. Resident plant boy. The plant is actually heavier than Ridley. For some reason. Yeah, Plant being actually one of, I think he actually classifies as a super heavy. He's indeed a super heavy. He's like fifth. Yeah, I don't know what on earth they put in that pot, but it certainly isn't soil. Possibly cement. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe that's where all the police come from. He's gotta hold them somewhere. Honestly, maybe. He just, just has science. Yeah. He has a black hole inside of his plant, inside of his pot. They reverse engineered Kirby. You know what? Plant looks like he's having so much fun while he's running. He's just happy to be here. Dude, he is. He is enjoying himself. But anyway, that roll down smash. And also, full, S full DLC coming up from the side of SVSU. Just keep in mind, Plant is also a DLC character. I mean, technically, uh, Plant was free if you got the game, like right at the beginning uh but if you ended up getting planned with like after i think it's the first three months of the game's release then you had to pay uh, five dollars you know six dollars it was the same six dollars yeah, basically six five dollars. Dollars. keep in mind both of these characters both of these players had to pay for their characters just one being so much better than the other <laughs> yeah uh Harry definitely, I think most people these days are referring to him as a uh, top tier. Um, That's mostly just from Riddles. Yeah, but like Riddles doesn't even play Harry much anymore. He plays him tough. Yeah. Um, it's just, uh, he's probably the most consistent out of all of the Shodos, um, and in terms of neutral, from what I could tell. And the, and like, he has no real like downside to his uh, comeback mechanic at all, which I don't know if too many do, but like just having super specials allows for very cheesy stocks. I would not say that most of them are technically downside, it's just like his is probably one of the easier ones to actually hit. It's like Seth Rodney. You don't need to be at that much at that high of a percent. Even though hundred is still pretty much kill percent. Yeah, see with Sephiroth, he's like super light. Right. Verse by the Terry from the Eagles. Alright, so that is um, the first game going to the Eagles. You see the plank clapping with his leaves, telling him to make more sound. Have you ever heard leaves clap? No. I sure haven't. I've heard them rustle. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. That's all you hear from the, from the stands, it's just. Perhaps we should simulate uh, some leaves clapping. Some sticky notes again. Can you guys hear it? Put it up closer to the mic. See if they can hear it. That's, that's the best we get. It's, it's not very audible, not very loud. Yeah, it's Anyways, a... going into game <laughs> two. <laughs> going into set two. Set two. Eagles up 1 0. I think this is what they should do for games now. We go to a football game. We just need to bring two little sticky notes, and whenever someone scores, you that's, just that's like all you hear. Clap them together. All you hear is like the little. There's a little rustling. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's some trees in the back. It's like we scored a touchdown. Is that is that is that a light breeze I hear in the crowd? <laughs> True sportsmanship. This is indeed SVCC team. 
we might be seeing a few sub outs. Yeah, we're probably going to be seeing Peyton or Casey in this next set. Exactly. Um, Julian will still probably be starting though. Yeah, the Pyromethra is a very good start. Not too many, I, again, I don't think has any like bad matchups as far as I'm aware. Maybe like one or two top tiers. I, I could imagine Pyromethra having a few bad there, matchups. There's got to be at least one. I bet you like Pikachu might be able to. But honestly, you just force that Thunder Jolt. Yeah. In general, though, like Pikachu just like does really well against stored characters and does really well against characters with bad recoveries. With the so, red. Yeah. So, and even though uh, Mithra gets out of combos easier than most, um, Pikachu just like putting. Mithra or Pyra off stage is pretty much a death sentence. So <laughs> assuming they can properly utilize the rep, you same will be right. proud if Esam. you can drag down back air fire Mithra. I only know of two good Pikachu's. That would be Esam and Shiny Mark. Um, you don't really see too many Pikachu's Not these days, and you used to see a whole lot of Pichu's such as Void, even dropping for cheek at one point, and then they absolutely gutted the character. Yeah, mainly F tilt. Pichu by far the lightest in the game damages itself uh even more than uh even more than it to, used to in yeah. melee i believe well even early ultimate the damage was much less and then they uh, then i realized the rap was doing a bit too much i was like you know what uh, no yeah baby pokemon no and people have learned counterplay for pichu anyways uh sdi being very important to get out of the loops um and like just di'ing properly will mess up a lot of confirms also, you can just randomly fall out of Pichu's moves a bit more often than Pikachu's, which is just not great. Has that one YouTube video, which is all the top players falling out of Void Down Smash. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many of them. <laughs> it is unfortunate. Most of the time. Yeah, we are indeed sending the plant back in. The plant is coming back. Looks like we're having a tried and true Mario matchup. Quite literally. <laughs> One of Piranha Plant's win animations is actually him just like fighting Mario. So see if he gets to kill Mario four times this game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so in general, Mario definitely wins this matchup, you, especially on Battlefield. Um, yeah, Mario just having a very potent combo game has multiple like. Uh, uh, kill combos at very early percents and in general does pretty well against heavies um plant being a smaller heavy um definitely makes it a little awkward but uh, nothing mario can't deal with going for the down throw at too early of a percent for uh the super heavies and then, so we're seeing a much slower game than we have for other teams yeah these players sort of waiting out seeing what the options are sometimes Trying to figure out what the best option is. The interesting thing about this Mario is like he waits, he shields, and then suddenly he's throwing out like eight smash attacks. I uh, I get really. He's he's, he's playing like he's, it's like four D chess. He's five steps ahead. So. Yeah. <laughs> he's in the matrix. That forward air almost just taking plant off. We do love to see the smash attacks. It's honestly like a sign of respect at this point. I feel like. Is Batui almost taking it off the warrior with the entire like the entire length of the stage, but F Smash also not gonna kill. I can't remember what frame Tui uh comes out in, but it's oh, very fast. I believe it is frame four. But that's that's off the top of my head as I've played player for like five hours. I'm going to guess six. Um we shall get back to wins that in a few seconds, but I'll go back to the match. Poison Cloud of Ledge. Mario's currently at sitting at 63, two stocks still three. He's doing a very good job of preventing Mario's landings um, with the Poison Cloud and that dash attack earlier. Oh, so Mario realizes he doesn't need to land on the plane if I start going better for him. Yeah. Mario just plays this a little bit more patiently, and he should be getting better results. But I don't know if he realizes. Uh, Considering we just saw 3 f smash yeah, 4 f smash at ledge, I don't think he does. He sure really likes to use forward smash for kills. Sometimes when you have the opponent at higher percent, so you start getting desperate for those kills, it just doesn't so sort of realize it's also going to put you in a much worse spot than if you were to, say, go for like a down tilt or maybe a grab. Right. 
Got uh, smashed on my feeling across the stage. Those kind of like smash attacks do a little bit better online than they probably should just because there's less time to react, but when you're seeing it that many times in a row, you know what's going on. Yeah. Um, Mario's F smash actually has quite a bit of hurtbox shifting as well, so there's. Uh, it, it is kind of an annoying move to deal with, but if I were to smash. If I were to use a. Uh, Attack and spam it online. I would prefer the up smash because there's a bit less lag. Oh, dude, Mario's shield is an actual pebble right now. Maybe he's got the skittle going on the Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, for some reason, I like the orange star. <laughs> Call me. Con I, maybe that's a controversial take. I don't know. Maybe. maybe. Crazy. Do you think skittles are flavor? Or do you think it's just scent? Uh, I honestly think it's scent. I don't think the Skittles taste... I personally not a big fan of Skittles. Um, fruit flavored candies in general kind of taste very artificial to me. I don't know. I just don't like it. Apparently not orange. Though. Yeah, not orange. We see the Mario Shield is going to be getting a, a whole lot smaller. And there it goes. There it is. Up the smash. Or not. Yeah, smash that works. That's going to be it. Game one. Very nice punish coming out. And plant. Great. Honestly, I think up smash. Oh, yes, here we go. That's it. That's got four. <laughs> That's four stocks. <laughs> first, first four stock in a crew battle. In a single game of a crew battle, Anthony's done it, folks. You can't believe it. He's made the plant is so proud of himself. Fun fact Did you know that you can actually uh, buffer which uh, winning animation? Yes, I can't remember which one it is, but you have up, right, and down. Yeah. Well, up side directions and down, the same as your top directions. I've never labbed it out to figure out which one is which for Mario. Let's, let's take some time and lab out the <laughs> victory animations. Yeah. But that is a thing that you can toggle, which is, I think that's a new feature to Ultimate. I believe it was also in Smash 4, but before that I'm not sure. Anyways, a very cool little thing that a lot of people don't usually know about. A lot of the small things they had in this game. Yeah. We ignore the glaring issues for that for those reasons. Plant, I almost hmm. forgot, has a frame two jab. Oh, does he really? He does indeed. It's fast. Interesting. So, as a quick explanation, Smash is a game. Uh, it is indeed. Is it left, right, and up? It might be left, right, and up. It's some sort of D pad inputs. I also hate Plant's hitbox after I'm looking at this. <laughs> it does not look. It's fun. It, it's a hit. It's hurt boxes. Yeah. Um, it's, we'll leave it at that. Not a very great jab in general. It doesn't really like go out very far, even though it is fast. That is most. most that's, that can be said for most of these characters. Yeah. The the nair. Where is the patui? Where is it? Where is it at? It's crazy that they decided it to add a frame up. nine startup. We were so far off. Are you sure? Frame oh nine. God. It is plus six on shield, <laughs> so that that might make up for. Anyways, it. going into the K rule Piranha Plant matchup, he's gonna be very well versed in this match because we do have our own resident K rule as Seth. I'm gonna stop saying resident and her name of Smash player here. <laughs> and Anthony, almost forgetting nasty belt. It is indeed an issue we have here. The K rule throwing up the ground immediately. The three comes back though. And technically, as long as they start to move first, we're fine to go in with this invincibility. Right. So K Rule having a few like pretty good options in this matchup, specifically the down B reflecting uh, both Patui and the Cloud. Let's find out. It's a, it's a good use of that. And we see the reflector coming out right there. However, I don't know if the angles of the reflector sends up besides possibly for side you're gonna help very much. And Patui already almost killing the K Rule. Yeah, you're able to hit. K rules head with the counter because the counter is only on his gut. So, which covers most of the character. His head is but, intangible for some of it. Yeah, one of the few counters in the game that has just like a bit of intangibility on its own without it being activated. It's very interesting. Like, I would have to say K rules counter is definitely up there, like maybe like top three, top four counters in the game. Honestly, Star KO against characters that have charged never feels nice. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, 
just see that down air going a bit too low with that K rule over there. That's the thing about K rule's moves is he has, just has like an unusual amount of end lag against a bunch. It's very easy to like auto cancel the moves on like forums and on the stage itself to prevent that. But uh, if you are going for off stage stuff like that, I, I've seen so many K rules SD just because they go for down air and they're not expecting that much. And lag at the end. And every through the poison cloud, casually making it 30% for the K rollers, saying to do a down smash and then roll back. I think we've seen most of the percent of the down B and side B. I, I, I was think I thought that maybe for a second that um, when he down B and went forward from the Prana Plant down B, that it would go into the Blunderbuss. I thankfully <laughs> that does not happen. That would be a. A really funny interaction. I believe you can still grab the plant bolt. He's over there. Yes, but I don't think command grabs. Yes. Probably not. Hope oh, this command grabs don't hit that much speed. Present. You can spike any point of the plant's stock, and it will act as though you spiked him wherever the pot is, and he will just occasionally go flying. However, we see K roll sitting at one stock, or Prana Plant's 155 on stock two. Yeah, the Prana Plant's doing very well at, well, was doing very well at maintaining stage control. Um, it's still doing very well at taking these extra stocks, getting the extra for SVSU. Yes. Putting us at a 7 2 4 on game two of set two. <laughs> the run into the Flutter Bus, the full commitment. I love that option. And like I said, <laughs> The angle that the two we get sent back at is not going to help Hyrule very much. We're just going to see yeah. he's going to get me out of ledge. Trying to call out with that scoop up smash, just barely missing it. One of the most defining traits of Hyrule, though, is the armor. And I feel like I just haven't seen much of the armor in this game. That we have not. If we have seen armor, it's probably just getting beat up by Plant Down or whatever. Yeah. As Piranha Plant once again kills Mario, making that five stuff <laughs> taken off the Mario alone. Oh, poor Mario. Oh my god. And consumes all of Hyrule with that up smash. Mario is stuck on World 1-1. One, one. Apparently. <laughs> Someday you'll get there. Wait. Wait, is indeed 5-0 against Mario. Yes. I don't know how you can kill Mario this many times when he only... He's running, out of, he's running out of lives, you yeah. know. He, he hit a few more of mushrooms. He, he sure does. <laughs> I believe there's only one one-up mushroom in the in World One One of the original Super Mario Bros. Hmm. Do right. you start with three lives or is that Mario? What am I thinking? Uh, I, I can't remember how many. Start with five. I thought it was five. He's. That sounds like he's got one last Mario to go through. Is what I'm hearing. <laughs> or that was it. And he, didn't get to, <laughs> he might have not gotten the one-up mushroom. We'll find out. We shall see. We see the Terry coming back up to play. Let's see if Prana Plant remembers to take two stocks. But we shall find out. As long as he does not get a hit, Three, we're fine. Two, one, Please go! don't patooey right off the bat. Oh my goodness. No, he's charge. fine. He's fine. He's going. No, he's not. He's getting taunt first. We'll see if he's <laughs> doing the charge. He, he makes me anxious when he does that. <laughs> I would like to say. The Mewtwo you guys faced off against had the fastest SD at the start of the game I've seen. That's crazy. It was like frame one teleport to the blast of <laughs> He's got the optimal SD. Yeah, honestly, Kirby, not very good character, but probably one of the best SDs in the battle format. Yeah. At least for stock one, because you just sprint to Legend Rock. <laughs> you fall honestly, faster yeah. than Fox. Is it better just to up B or is down B faster? Down B is faster because you don't have the up and they go around the same block speed. Gotcha. For the, for the few seconds you save by it being faster. You know, you can time them out better. So, Terry doing a decent job. They're, they're about even in percents. Um, yeah, they are. Terry's doing a decent job of getting into Plant's zone, so Plant's gonna have to find a way to zone Terry out a bit better. One thing this Terry does very well is not giving the opponent much space to breathe, which is going to be a small bit hard on some of our CT players. However, it's going to be back to 6-3 okay. to three with the Terry po poised and ready. Let's see what we throw in this time. We cannot say that on stream, buddy. Unfortunately, we can't make that comment, but you're not wrong. Oh. Give one 
second. Oh, all right. Now that's what you're sending their second fire. <laughs> Since you sending in their second player of set two, let's find out who goes in. What are your What are your thoughts? Who do you think they're sending? Honestly, uh, we could probably be seeing the pirate Mithra. Um, I think they're trying to get um, some more play time. Yeah, some more play time for uh, Julian. Just get a little bit more knowledge. Get some experience under his belt. Yeah, for sure. So he's not just fighting the same people over and over again. Right. As long as he, as long as I don't see him side being neutral three times, we're fine. Yes. Um, if he does, we're gonna have some things to talk about. Oh, we're sending in Dylan. Sending back in Connor. Oh, Connor, not Dylan. Dylan is indeed a B team sub. Yes, he is a B team sub. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got the Steve. Right back in. Let's see what, how he changes his gameplay as soon as our frames come back. Any second now. I do love Smash Online, don't you? Obviously. I just need a Smash Online thing. That's a, that's a streaming to Discord and to OBS thing. No, but it just felt like a Smash Online moment. <laughs> Smash Online. Online. You want to play a PowerPoint real quick? <laughs> also, a fun little fact. Steve does not actually mind with the pickaxe on FD. He minds with the shovel. I really like the uh, TNT setups at ledge. Um, there. Unfortunately, not getting anything off of it. Not going to do much, they only recover high. Yeah. And the F-Smash. F-Smash is very strong. Steve just right in the way. Hurt. The F-Smash can take first stop in favor of the Eagles. Terry struggling a small disc break the uh, crafting table and just giving up after one attempt at the down smash. This Terry is playing very grounded, which I can appreciate. Definitely has some fundamentals with this character. Yes, he does. Also, he's playing right up close to person, not giving them any space to try and set up. And we're just going to see him jump in the every time that TNT is set up. He is not scared of that TNT whatsoever. And it's because there's not much pressure coming out from Steve after he places down the TNT. Yeah. The TNT in itself is always a good option to cover. It needs the Steve there to apply some pressure on the other option that's not covering to actually make it well, a kill option. That power geyser is crazy. Um, Terry's still sitting at three stocks most SVC would has only one left on their Steve at a 4 to 2. Well, to make that a 4 to 2 game. Is it 4 to 2? It is 4 to 2. We have one left on our Steve, three left on our last person, and two left on the Steve. Oh, oh, yes, okay. We're going to see Connor looking for a jab to the legend or most likely pickaxe, but however, the jab, jab, power, jump, power dive. Coming out. Isn't it power dive? Power Duck is the input. Power Dive is not input. Power Duck spikes. Oh, okay, so when it's flashing orange and not the blue, then it's Power Dive. Yes. Interesting. Fun fact, Power Duck only spikes if the other two parts of it did not hit. Yes, so you cannot combo Jab Jab Power Dunk at ledge and it's expect spike. it to spike. You can, however, do F Tilt Power Dunk at ledge and expect it to spike. Yes, although that's not a true combo, they are probably... But it, I've seen it happen. Like, honestly, who's expecting a Terry to go off? Right. Who expects a Terry to go off stage? <laughs> and we do see that, I believe, Burn Knuckle coming out and taking Steve's side all the way across the stage. Steve not being a very heavy character in this game. Thank goodness. The no time limit rule <laughs> is being enforced. However, online you cannot actually have no time limit. So if a game does go over, you reset the stocks, try and get the percent to as close as you can, and continue from there. And Steve does indeed feel like a meme. Steve do be a meme. Um, you are kind of just like, I don't know. There's a lot of things that you have to respect with Steve just right off the bat. Yes. You're not looking out for Anvil if you're not looking out for Minecart. Um, if you don't know how to break blocks uh, fast and consistently. If you don't know the JLP all the blocks, it's probably just going to get you up smashed. Yeah. Um, if you don't remember back here, just has the more range than some swords. <laughs> that minecart is indeed also a command grab in the air. There's a lot of the small things in the Steve mashup that will just get you killed sometimes. However, SVSU only having two stocks left to take. Why did they give uh, the minecart command grab properties? I feel like that's just... <laughs> that was so... Technically in Minecraft, 
they try to keep their characters as close to the source game pans to Kazuya literally just being tech and copy pasted in here. <laughs> yeah, true. So when you like minecart something into like a mob to try and pick it up, like you know those pesky villagers. <laughs> Kazuya is not going to sugarcoat it, and neither is Steve. <laughs> But instead of getting three electric wood godfists, he's just mine carving you <laughs> constantly. It, I think it has like three different paper properties. It's pretty crazy. And that's just the ones we know about. Mm -hmm. You know, there's gotta be like one more that no one's told us yet. No one's found it. Secret minecart hitbox that just kills. They all kill anyway. <laughs> I know they all kill anyways. Like it just, it just like <laughs> it somehow eats your jump. Yeah. It just like takes it away. <laughs> You know, you got hit by a minecart in like frame 17. You, goodbye to your double jump. Isn't minecart frame 22? I don't know. It's something like that. I don't know. Like frame 17 after he got out of it. Yeah. Specifically frame 17 after he got out of it. <laughs> Specifically. We do need to see the Payton coming out from SVSU. The Payton. The Payton. Payton Sora coming out. For, no, it's now the Payton. <laughs> Dude, look at Sora's eyes. Just place. look at him. He's <laughs> determined. He's not even taking the touch. Terry's looking at Sora. Sora doesn't care. Sora's not threatened by him. Sora's just a follower. Says Sora. Is that the door in darkness? <laughs> I can't do the voice. I sure wish I could do a Mickey voice. My voice is too low for a Mickey voice. I've received 49% coming out already from the Terry. I love up dodge. Up dodge is my favorite move. Up dodge move. is apparently the meta. We do see the up dodge coming from Sora and the SD. It's like the unfortunate SD. That is unfortunate. The side B, Sora side B. Sora oh, yeah. follows the characters around. We see the Nair chain coming out afterwards. He up dodged afterwards, so we, we should be fine. Um, so, uh, Sora doing Sora things. You gotta love this. Uh, neutral B. Every single projectile, I swear, that thing is like crazy. What do you think is like the worst projectile out of the three? Uh, Fire Aga, Thundaga, and Blitz Aga? Honestly, Fire Aga. Really? Well, yeah, because like, yes, free dash attack, free grab, mm -hmm. but also, what else are you getting out of it? It's fair. Um, I just like the idea of Fire Aga because of the, like, I don't know, just the extra damage you can get off of it for comboing a projectile into, like, a burst option. Going back into the match, however, <laughs> we do see an F smash coming out from Peyton to catch that Terry Stock of Ledge. Going back to the neutral beat arm. Um, yeah, so I thought, my thought was uh, the Thundaga, because even though it's fairly good for edge guarding and covers a decent amount of range, the hitboxes are so stinking thin on that move that there's a lot of times where you think that it's going to connect and it just doesn't. However, there are some characters that can't recover past it. That's true. <laughs> and the jab beating out Sora F Smash, apparently. I, <laughs> in I the guess. burn knuckle to take the kill. But however, this Terry's the guy was working out for 82%. And not much going his way. Sora just having that Nair that um, knocks people right in front of him to continue the combo, I think that's a really good uh, option for this matchup. It's a really good option for most matchups. Safe on most shields, can't really up the out of shield. Mm -hmm. Pretty hard to punish, so that's high to be coming off late. Like once you get hit by the first hit, there's not much you can do to try and get out of it. This is a very close matchup. Yeah, you see the ghost sauce online, and that'll be coming out just a tad too early. Back throw, maybe? Yeah. Well, so you're probably gonna see a recovery high from the Terry as he's done every single time. Okay? Don't have to talk with him about this after this. What's this match I done after the back throw takes his lead? Done. Boom. And that okay. will indeed be at SVSU taking game one, two. One. Give me one second to go and talk to CT. <laughs> All about. Yes, I am. <laughs> Hello, chat. It's just me. He sure is going to scold them. <laughs> we won that, but um, he should not have been getting away with uh, that much. Like, he recovered high every time. Did you do the scolding? I did not really scolding, just the, the slight please punish the recovery high. 
Sounds like a scolding to me. <laughs> About a scolding is you get. All right, anyways. What do you think the lineup's going to be? Most likely keeping the Terry as the anchor. Probably going to see maybe the Kirby come out. I think that'd be interesting. Maybe they get to stuff the puff ball, stop the puff ball. <laughs> People finally getting to get some Kirby experience outside of just you. Yep. Um, I'm really hoping that uh, SVSU just pulls out Casey for this last one to ensure a, because I think Casey could definitely take these guys on. I think he could. That once we actually get them in the game, we'll keep the slate plan in the lineup. Right. Don't forget to reset the stocks up to the top. Both teams one and one currently on game well on set three game one. That's how. That's just how we're gonna hope that's correct. <laughs> we're just very very close yeah. game both times actually. Very close. Um, we had quite the lead that first. We had quite the lead both games. Yeah. Um. The Terry managed to bring it back for Eagles both times. We're having a little bit of a hard time uh, finishing it out, but that's okay. Well, he's a very aggressive play style that some of us are just not ready to combat. Right. Because yeah. we got, probably got too used to the rest of them sitting back, spamming a few smash tags <laughs> and <laughs> get, getting a few good hits and combos. They're just like being Pavlov for a second. They're conditioning them. To... <laughs> it's, the rest of the one and two are conditioning, then the Terry comes in. <laughs> They aren't ready. <laughs> he is Pavlov and we are the dogs. <laughs> but except that we're Cardinals, so this doesn't work. There, it's Pavlov and the Eagles. Pavlov's Eagles. Pavlov equals the Eagles. <laughs> One in the same. I think Pavlov's spirit animal is probably an eagle now. There we go. It, it is now. This is the point where we have absolutely nothing to talk about in the in between. They're just, both, they're just like, grasping for something. Pulling it open there. Hoping something sticks. Apparently, like, you you ever hear that, like, I'll wait until a pasta is cooked. It's like, chuck a piece of pasta at a wall, see if it sticks. That's what we're doing right now. Yeah, I would have to say that that's about what we're doing. Just kind of throwing whatever at it. I mean, what is the risk at this point? You know, there's nothing happening on the screen. You just need to keep talking. Buddy has said thoughts on River Otters. Tyler's that Tyler, that one's for you. The little murder machines. <laughs> Anyways, we see probably the bands have been done. Teams are actually starting to get into the arena, so we're gonna be starting set three pretty soon. Do you think there will be any like character switches coming from the other team? Well, I hope I see the Kirby. It would be cool to see the Kirby. I want to watch the they know they should know more than enough about the puffball mashup to stop the puffball out of existence. The Mario is making me a little uh, sad. Not gonna lie. Better. And we see Julian. It's time to be sad. He's no longer going to be cheesing them with the fire with their skin. <laughs> he's he's coming full force with the with the edge lords. <laughs> yeah, edge lords. And then we just have Mario against two anime waifus. Oh. It's Mario. Oh, let's hear Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah, unless... <laughs> and then it's just let's it go. He could say that. Yeah, I don't even think he said it would. I saw, you know the version that's like, I just replaced it with actual Mario voice lines? Yeah. That's the first version I saw, and I was like, huh, you know, it, it, it sticks out a bit, but honestly, I can get behind it. <laughs> and then I saw the actual one, and I was like, oh. It's so funny that, like, instead of trying to be, like, Italian, he, Chris Pratt literally just went for, like, a slight Boston accent, but it's actually just Chris Pratt. It's a slightly Boston Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's back. Kingdom, here we come. <laughs> and back into the match we go. Matt <laughs> Newell with the FBI shield and the dash of the Empire of the Wires at 109, chilling off the stage. That side be barely catching him up. Barely not catching him up that neutral game. Fun fact, there's only one frame to punish. A neutral get up into hold shield, however, the FBI is going to take that first off. You can see swap back to back to Mitra, the better version. Mario having a little bit of trouble keeping uh, Mithra in the air, which fair is it's kinda hard to keep up with Mithra with the air speed and also foresight being a thing. But however, this is gonna be off safe, just looking for the fair spike. 
and then you get another F, F smash. I really like the utilization of uh, forward tilt this game from the Mario player. Um, a very quick option just to get them off of you. I've used it quite a lot against sorties. Um, so I, I'm glad to see just a little bit more than F smash. I feel like they are misinputs. I will need to <laughs> if Maybe. I had to take a guess. But you know what? We'll give them credit. I mean, give them the credit where credit is due. Yeah, he didn't take proven guilty, yeah. and the up B is going to take a, he did not a second shield. stock. He did not shield that indeed. 52 frames to punish, I believe, if it whips. Yeah, there is time to just do a slightly charged forward smash out of shield after... Uh... There's time to do most moves yeah. in the game. The only thing you might not get away with is, like, Falcon Punch. Yeah, a few more frames and maybe you can Falcon Punch as a... If you read where they're landing on the up B, you can get the Falcon Punch. For sure. Like drift slightly farther back, playing behind them, get the sauce. But however, we're probably gonna see a very commanding first game, maybe even a three-star coming out from Julian. They are being just a very hard thing to contest for Mario. I'm still surprised that they keep on pulling out the Mario against Kendra. That they do. Well, to be fair, it's game one, so they didn't really know who was going in, but I'm surprised they're yeah. pulling out the Mario. Right. If we are losing frames again, we can only assume what's happening. We're probably going to see a great side because of the Pyro Mithra. It's going in neutral. Oh, and okay, that's the, the game. Did you know what is playing F Smash off the side? <laughs> Correct us if we are wrong. We certainly saw that. Yes, we did. We did indeed. So we just <laughs> had to click to the next slide real quick. It was indeed an F Smash off the side. We've been informed. Ready. Julian taking a, a three stock lead in the first game. That do indeed be the power of the Aegis. Because it is it's so strong. In fact, they see Star Stream here on Discord. We don't get to know what happens. <laughs> they literally broke the stream for <laughs> too powerful. Yeah. Imagine having that kind of power at your fingertips. Just Julian see. is probably just like I don't know. Is most likely popping off in the esports room. <laughs> yeah. It's a well deserved pop off. Sure. Do you think we will see the K rule? Oh, I... Maybe they send the Terry in. I think they keep on saving Terry for last, so I... They do indeed save. Boy. I think we may be seeing the K rule again, unless they decide maybe to pull out the little puffball. Maybe the little puffball. It's only been speculated. Yes. Mayhaps. We'll see if, if the matches against me have prepared him for the rest of the world. <laughs> for the rest of the small ones. We hear pop-offs from the crowd for something, but I don't know what. I, I know that they aren't on that much of a delay yeah, anymore. There's no way it's that. Maybe just a delayed pop-off? Mayhaps. <laughs> they popped his head out for a second, you know, it's just like grabbed the crowd's energy, went back in. <laughs> Getting powered up. This is an anime protagonist moment for Julian. It is. It's an even game. Bill rides on his shoulders even though there's two behind him. Yeah. He managed to take it home. <laughs> And secure his nine stock, like so many before him. We'll use the power of friendship to take these last six stocks. And we are going to see the croc coming out. The croc. They do be consistent, at least. Yes, yeah, belly armor. Very <laughs> well, actually, no, I think they play something different first game. At least it's a. At least it's a pink K rule, you know. At least it's a pink they, K rule. <laughs> They, they were thinking about the Kirby and they were like, let's just go for it in between. This is a compromise. <laughs> <That's> a compromise. <laughs> See, the K roll is going to be trying to utilize some of the armor that we saw crown armors look and go through the up, up smash. Um, K roll just having a like pretty rough time in this matchup overall, has a really hard time landing and getting out of disadvantage, but uh. K rule actually managing to get a few hits in here. The jab off the down throw is new. That's a new option I've seen. That is a new option. That is an option, one might say. You do. Possibly looking to reflect the myth side B. <laughs> However, he's going to be stuck at ledge here, getting sent off stage by that there. How is he going to get back? Croc being a very large target for all of the swords. And just anything. It's very hard to get around side B when you're that bad. Dash attack hit from there. K rolls arm being stuck at a small bit from the crown, but uh, I, I still feel like a roll distance and a half might be a tad too large, Sakurai. A little bit. Um, 
Yeah, the interesting thing about both like Pyra and Mithra's dash attack is it goes like, un I feel like they just go unusually far. Um, both of them are very good burst options. Pyra's being a little bit slower, but making up it for it plenty with its kill power. I think slightly more range as Mithra's horse, ever so slightly smaller. Yeah. We do see... Kegel not really utilizing the belly armor too much. There's a lot of just full hop into Blunderbuss. Yeah. The backer coming out. Now, will Julian utilize the crown, or is he just going to throw it immediately? It's so funny watching, like, even the people that we went up against on A-Team, whenever they got a hold of the crown, they were just, like, goofing around with it, trying to throw it at him constantly. I don't know if that's really the play. It's definitely not the play. But they... The idea with the crown is you just hold on to it for as long as you can, because that's an entire move k -Roll now can't use. Yeah. And we have to see a stock coming out from the k -Roll. It's going to be 1 to 2 in this game, 5 to 8 overall. Also, just a very strong item. Oh my goodness. The k -Roll down air in the Mithra side view is not actually going to be a high enough percent to kill. That was... If you a small bit scared to go for that now. I was not expecting that. Showing some signs in life, this game rule is. Uh, is. Signs are the key word, though. We might need a bit more before he gets turned like another pair of alligators. Yeah. Ooh, utilizing that belly armor with the down smash. Um, Julian up being a little bit early there, but still managing to get out. It's not going to matter all that much. He's got yet another crown. He just eats it off the side. <laughs> Who needs it? Who needs it? Doesn't realize it comes back about two seconds later. He do be like that. Oh, he was going for some footstool shenanigans, perhaps. Dash deck almost coming from center stage. Cable was barely making it back. They're probably able to come back from the blast zone. Yeah, that was crazy, actually. He's not really sure of where to go from this black one. Look what the second time it looks like. <laughs> Didn't quite get it. Yep, Peter. Julian, there's those 50 frames. We're going to see the down. No down throw. I'm surprised. Confirmed into up tilt. It does vary. I wonder what the thought process was for going Kalos here. I, I honestly don't know. Perhaps a wall. Maybe. But honestly, that probably hurts K roll more so than anything. Yeah, I just can't see this being a great stage. I don't for believe you were killed off the top beside the left feet. Wow, a hey, nice confirm by K roll. Alright, we'll stomp into up air. No. Start to like down air into imagination half the time of that person. We see you, K roll. We've got a few things. I'm so glad Julian waited in center there. That would have been tragic if he got sucked in there. I mean, Seth, he was shot in low. The air plants are turning around the counter, and the up tilt's gonna take it. There it is. Up tilt being a great kill move with Pyra. Yes, please. Let's use you now. 7 2 3 stocks. 7 to 3. We do not have the 9 to 3 like in Valorant. That's not. We don't have those cursed numbers here. <laughs> yes, they not. Let me realize we're, that there's, we have four stocks, not five. Oh, well, yeah, now we're at three, three, so. I just want to make sure it's everything besides. We got, we got through us. Yeah. I'm just updating my laptop. Alright, goodbye, Brittany. Goodbye. Okay. It's SSU, and once again, a commanding lead going into game three. But this is where we see that Terry it is a very threatening thing. However, I um, believe we are prepared for it this time. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's hope that we're covering those high options this time. And um, we also, I, because I definitely forgot to talk about the lineup, we indeed have Julian into Casey into Peyton. Oh, okay. Now we're pulling out the big guns for this last uh, set here. We are indeed. I think starters. I'm super excited excited to see uh, Casey's Falcon. Uh, if only it could be Kazuya. Oh, if it might be Kazuya. If, if they only... forget to ban FD, we might end up seeing the Kazuya. I would love that, actually. I I love watching Kazuya, <laughs> and Casey's Kazuya has been putting in work. So. I love watching like Street Fighters match pros, you know? Yeah. Even on neither of those characters are from Street Fighters. <laughs> that is a cursed commentary moment right there. Um, you know that uh, Kazuya is good when they start crouch dashing at you. I think uh, that's probably one of the Honestly. most like fearful like things ever in Smash Bros. Is when you get matched up with the Kazuya and they just start like full force going at you. Also, what's happening here? We have the Terry versus Byron Mithra still edge both edge boards actually. They've come out in full force. 
Oh, right. Forgot. We still have one stock that we do. Let's see how it goes. Like, Iron Mithra. Not the fastest SD, especially not the Lady Buster. Yeah. Um, I think the optimal choice here would have been to go Mithra. Just to use the uh, upbeat. Pyro, I mean. Yeah. Possibly. Julian's aiming probably to take a stock off this fairy. Fire already coming out, looking for the big hitboxes. Try to stop me. Full up B there, side B to cover that uh, option there. Side B to cover anything under the platform, basically. Yeah. Oh. That's gonna be a slight juggle situation. Terry, already at 67. Terry bringing it back super quickly. Um, Just a few hits. Terry hits hard, man. Most shadows do. Yeah. Um. Now on tilt side B, quick low conversion to even it up. Same difference of 0.6 on the never mind. And that's the first knock gone man, the Harry. What coverage. I always forget how high that hits. Catching the high recovery. Oh, that's game. And the need to be will be enough to take it. But however, a new turn of events. We are going 6 2 into game 4. A stock missing off the Terry this early. That's actually crazy. I'm so glad to see some adaptation coming in from uh from SVG. SVG. Yeah, we've got I, I feel like this Terry will not be as much of a threat as it's been the last few games. Except you know, as soon as they realize he likes to just jump powered up back to stage. Yes. I believe they will have this game on reps. Now let's see what uh Casey's going here. I'm excited to see this. I'm hoping the cows you have, but honestly, Falcon might be the better choice. Falcon might Probably the better. Choice. Julian popping off just outside the window. <laughs> Good stuff, man. <laughs> Julian no longer popping outside the window, popping in for him. Yeah, it was the indeed Baxter announced. Yes. Oh, yes, sir. My mom uh, messaged me. She said uh, the guy that was announcing liked it when I gave someone a ride in the mine cart. Wanted you to know that my mom is entertained by you guys. Dude, yes. <laughs> I feel very encouraged by that. Yeah, spine card is is a move in this game. <laughs> it's the best. That's that explains. That's all the feelings that I need to have about it. Yes. <laughs> we do love just giving people a little tour of the stage in the mine car. You know, like hey, you want to go all the way over there? <laughs> well, guess what? I don't really care. You're going in the blast zone. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. I'm sorry. You mashed out correctly. You're still gonna get up smashed. Dang, man. Unfortunate. That is kind of just like a... It's sort of a death sentence. Yeah, sometimes. it's kind of checkmate. Certain situations. You know what? There's no good option out of that. It's Like, I remember when Steve came out and just noticing the amount of lag you're in once you're jumping out, once you mash out of the minecart. Like, why did they give that thing? Like, you're just stuck in so much lag after, like, getting out of it. I think the absolute worst punish I saw was that Steve built up two blocks because mm -hmm. they, were, they were at very high percent and just charged a down smash. What on earth? Because, <laughs> like, up smash would have killed. They were sitting in the dirt, like, sick <laughs> They just wanted to call him out. They wanted something cheeky, that's for sure. Because like, they were still up two stocks, so it's like worst case it misses. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's, it's those moments. It is a flexing moment, for sure. They're always fun this match. We see both characters selecting now, so they've most likely done the stage bands. Let's see if we find the FD pick going out. Dude, let's see some Tekken in Smash Bros. Let us see the Please. fighting games in our party game by all technicalities. Keep in mind, this is a party game. Tekken versus Fatal Fury. Tekken versus, we'll find out which series is better. <laughs> Electro and Godfist, um, Frame 9, uh, Invincible Frame 1, uh, combos into literally everything in Kazuya's uh, toolkit. However, we will see the Falcon. The Falcon, the Falcon is choices. here. A very solid choice. Um, He's here to rush down and also a splash of color in our otherwise very dark palette for the time being. You see the crash here coming out as he rush down. A very unoptimal SD there. Yes. <laughs> there's not plus the I like how that's what we've evolved into. <laughs> you see, Casey's probably going to be looking for the early percent combos. Maybe the Raptor boosts it up here. Once he gets into a slightly lower hundred percent, I honestly, I, I get hit with Falcon combos almost daily. I still don't know what they hit me with. Falcon, they do like the same sort of like setup, and then they have a few 
uh, different conversions to set up into their strong moves. Uh, most of the time, though, they're trying to set up into knee with their combos. You know, whether that be with uh, IDJ up air, up air knee, or uh, um, bear uh, nair into. However, we do see the parry taking the first off of Casey's developing here. Like not as used to the sort of play style to use motors. Right. But Casey, mm -hmm. all he really needs one hit, and he's got the momentum. A beautiful like coverage of the high option. Thank you, Casey. I am in love. That was a beautiful punish. Honestly, that might have just been true. I think that was like an air one. Was it? I think that was an air one down air. Oh. I'm Either way, sure a that great was punish. True. It was indeed a great punish. <laughs> Terry looks like he's looking for one more up smash to try and finish the stock off. I'm about to be able to land. Um, he is. I am. Yeah. Casey, a little uncomfortable with this matchup, which I could see why, like, you know, you have to get up close to Terry to do your Falcon combos, and that's exactly where Terry wants you. So it is kind of just one of those things where you have to pick your options wisely. Um, only approach when you know that you can get in those hits. A little bit harder to do that online, but we can see Casey making the adaptations here. However, as with most of our Falcons, one straight hit could literally just be dead. True. The Terry is still choosing to recover high, though, showing absolutely no fear after he's getting down there. <laughs> yep, man, almost just calling him out for landing the power guy. Oh, well, speaking of power guys, Holy cow, that's our guy. Buster Wolf, a very strong move. Not quite going to kill there, though. He's off the stage. Go down there, try to finish off the stock. Oh my goodness, this is so intense. Terry's gonna cover high again. No, he chooses the first defensive option that wasn't just power dunk back to stage. I can't, I can't believe he did that. And we're probably just gonna see, there it is. Oh my god. Just tried and, and to the need to take off the game for SBSU. Beautiful okay. ending to that game. Taking the West game. Four stocks left on the board. Yeah, SBSU will be taking the set two to one. Bringing in Casey for that last bit was definitely a good choice, I feel like. Oh, Falcon, just a very uh, explosive character, and I think that's kind of what you need to do against some of these matchups that are maybe a little bit harder to go against and win neutral. Yes, Falcon, a very explosive character, and Casey, a very momentum-based player, that complements his play style beautifully. Yes. And then there, one into down air at ledge was an absolutely amazing confirm. And we shall be wishing...